being manipulated by others. How to stop it forever. Now, hi, welcome to this video. My name is Tom from the lifeacademy.com. And in this video, we will make visible what the real root cause of being manipulated really is. I designed this video to give you perspective and crystal clear clarity in direction towards complete liberation. On the internet, I see so many videos analyzing, blaming and labeling others, the partner, the family, the narcissist, and how to protect ourselves against these other people or how to recover from their behavior and actions. But I've experienced myself that watching these videos with believed solutions didn't solve the actual root cause or problem at all. Not even leaving manipulative people will solve the root cause because it is most likely will start a new but a similar kind of relationship. And this is because the root of the problem hasn't been solved within ourselves yet. Now, by watching this video, this is all about to change for you. Only when we know the real root cause, we can heal the root and liberate ourselves from every other symptom too. Uh, symptoms such as uh, staying in a role of a victim, uh, feeling powerless or dependent. You cannot stop pleasing others and you let yourself being manipulated all the time. Now, by not staying true to our own yes and no and letting other people manipulate us and control us, we experience the feeling of being tired or even exhausted. Now, some of us stay within a role of being emotionally or even physically manipulated or even abused and finding ourselves living in a very dark world where we are being dominated and finding ourselves being trapped in mind games. Now, from the moment we know what the real root of the problem is, we will be able to stop being manipulated completely and once and for all. Now, you don't have to feel ashamed for the fact that you are being manipulated because we all encounter this somewhere in our lives before we choose to start healing the actual root cause. Now, the only difference might be that some people might be better in hiding the fact that they are being manipulated behind a shiny mask of pretending otherwise until that shiny mask cracks, obviously. Now, being manipulated comes down to only one thing. Do you know what that is? Did fear ever cross your mind? A fear that we will be abandoned while being our true selves? Do you know why we are so afraid to be left alone with ourselves? Because when we are left alone, there wouldn't be any distractions left from our own unsolved pain that we do not want to feel. So pleasing others, being manipulated by others, or let others cross our boundaries, being controlled by others, blaming others, being a victim, even being emotionally abused, is all better as a distraction than being left all alone with our own unsolved pain or our own feelings of unworthiness. We can learn all kinds of valuable techniques, for example, by not ever going into the story of the manipulator, or we can avoid going into the story by responding, for example, interesting, I wonder why you think that of me, or I would love to continue our conversation when you have calmed down, or that is a possibility to not go into the story. But all those techniques won't solve the root of the problem yet. Now, the root cause of being manipulated is that unconsciously it still serves us as a distraction from our own unsolved pain. And at the same time, it is limiting us to live the intended, true, free and natural life that we are actually born for. Instead of solving the actual root cause of being a victim of manipulation myself, I used to blame, analyze, label or try to change the manipulator for my own protection or benefit. But that approach didn't work and it never liberated me from my own victim reality either. On the contrary, turning someone into a label turns them into an object for our own benefit. And that is exactly what a manipulator does too. 
Now to end the root of the problem, together with all its symptoms for once and for all, and therefore to shine the light onto being manipulated or onto our fear of abandonment, what it really is, I came up with a fundamental drawing to show you. If you have seen the following fundamental animation already, and it gave you perspective, clarity and direction towards complete liberation, make sure to start that direction to be liberated from the symptoms addressed in this video too. So you will have more time to create and enjoy your intended, liberated and abundant life to the fullest. Also like and share this video so people who actually are looking for a relief from the symptom from the very root up as well, get to see clarity in direction as well. So enjoy the video. Imagine this heart represents our untouched and unharmed fulfilled feelings at the moment we are born. Imagine this diamond represents our pure core, our authentic purpose from which each and every one of us is designed to flow over into natural abundance from what we authentically have to give. Imagine these glasses as our perspective from our independent fulfilled core. And from the moment we are born until now, we all experience painful emotions. And that pain sets around our core and our unharmed and fulfilled feelings. Because we don't know how to solve that pain, we have learned to escape from it. And do you know how? By building a wall around our feelings. And do you know how we build that wall? by constantly and stressfully running away from our feelings into our mind or thinking, looking for constant distractions. This escape from our feelings into stressful distractions is the birth of the root cause of all of our fear or restlessness. Distractions like constantly being busy with our phones, constantly being busy with busyness, or in other words, business, constantly looking for distractions in sex or porn. This escape from our core and feelings is also the birth of our numbing imprisonment and limitations. Note that we are not only running away from our unsolved feelings, but we are also locking and numbing our pure core and unharmed feelings too, underneath this stressful hunt for distractions. This imprisonment out of fear makes us cramp or block our body, and this physical and psychological blockage we also call trauma. Now that we are locked up from our inner diamond, we don't feel our core value anymore. And this disconnection from our authentic core and feelings is the root cause of all of our feelings of emptiness and unworthiness. This is the moment where we not only use distractions to run away from our unsolved feelings, but also as a means to look for a feeling of fulfillment and worthiness by running away from our feelings. The contradiction shows itself clearly. Yet we are too busy to question this numbing, imprisoning wrong direction, which has become a routine for so many of us. We search our lost feelings of value and fulfillment, for example, in distractions like status or in filling us up with drinks and food. Do you see that by running away from our feelings, we can never reach a feeling of fulfillment or value in these distractions? And that is why each distraction, apart from the short shot of distraction it gives, doesn't keep working and falls apart. Now, when our distractions doesn't work anymore, or our control falls away, unsolved pain breaks through our wall of protection, in the form of symptoms like anxiety, irritation, anger, self-pity, irregularity or jealousy. It's obvious we don't want to feel that way and that's why we start hunting for more and new numbing distractions and want to hold on to our current distractions 
that serve as a band-aid away from our unsolved feelings. This is the birth of the root cause of all addictions. Even if they are not good for us, as long as they distract us from our own unsolved issues. To make sure we will get and keep our addicting distractions, we literally use people and distractions as distractions away from ourselves. So we learn to develop behavior that is only interested in being distracted from our own feelings. This is the birth of our covert victim behavior, like criticism, bringing down others, abuse or allowing abuse, complaining, lying, denying, blaming, bribery, mind games, assumptions, reversals, forgetting, fake concern, flattery, conscious denial, relational aggression, damaging someone's relationships or social status, or overt victim behavior like actual physical aggression. Both covert and overt victim behavior is intended as a big distraction to not be confronted with our own unsolved issues and responsibility anymore. This imprisoning, numbing rat race of hunting for distractions that never can bring us a feeling of fulfillment or worthiness is extremely exhausting. This direction away from our core might sooner or later lead to symptoms like exhaustion, depression, burnout, stress, tiredness, or even thoughts about suicide. Now, my intention of showing you this perspective is to make crystal clear that there isn't anything wrong with you. That if you might have one or even all of these symptoms, that it only means that you are heading in the wrong direction, away from your own diamond and feelings. Every time we get a new distraction, like a new partner, new sex, new stuff, we get a short shot of distraction. And this short shot gives us the illusion that by proceeding in the direction away from our core, we will eventually find our complete feeling of fulfillment that we are longing for. But you now see that distractions cannot provide us with a feeling when we run away from our feelings. The more we keep blocking our core and cramping our body, the more diseases we encounter. Now, diseases are helping warning symptoms to help warn us that we are still blocking our healthy flow and are heading in the wrong direction. Disease symptoms like headache, migraine, bad sleep, back pain, shoulder pain, high blood pressure, or other physical diseases are only symptoms of being blocked for too long. If we are still not aware of the fact that our symptoms are our very valuable warning signals, we might choose to suppress our helping warning signals with medication and therefore keep blocking our feelings and core even more. Although medication can be life-saving in acute conditions, if we keep blocking our core and feelings, our body is being injected with constant fight and flight chemicals like stress cortisol and adrenaline that knocks our body out of balance. And according to the science of epigenetics, this chronic imbalance and blockage might switch on our inherited disease-causing genes and actually creates diseases. If we still won't listen to our valuable disease symptoms and keep blocking our natural flow of life, our chronic blockage might turn into a flatline. My intention is that you have clarity and insight that liberation from our symptoms lie in the exact opposite direction. In solving our unsolved pain, until the only thing left to be experienced are our independent, unharmed and untouched feelings of fulfillment and core, from which we are designed to see with clarity and to flow over into natural abundance from what we 
authentically have to give, then there will be no more fear or stress to feel our unsolved emotions. And this will bring clarity and peace in our mind. And from there we can create and enjoy all great things life has to offer us in total freedom. What does it do to you to see with crystal clear logic that there isn't anything wrong with you, independent of the symptoms you may be facing right now? That the only thing that was wrong was following our conditioned direction away from our core and feelings. Now, what does it do to you to see that you are still the untouched and unharmed blank slate underneath all those numbing layers? The more I was trying to create a successful mask or the more I was trying to run away from my insecurities or from my fears or from my pains into distractions, the more my restlessness or exhausting fears in other forms kept arising and didn't go away. I only started to feel truly liberated, relaxed and filled with joy again, filled with self-esteem, enjoying every little thing around me when I decided to go to the root of my fears, of my pains and relating symptoms and solve them within myself. Because when we are no longer imprisoned in this exhausting system driven by fear, pain and relating symptoms, we will feel independently filled with joy again. And when we feel only joy without the fear and the pain, there won't be any obstructions left to create whatever belongs to us naturally. And when we create out of joy without any obstructions, success and abundance are just logical, natural consequences. So basically liberating ourselves from this limiting imprisonment by fear, by restlessness and pain is the key to go from limitations and scarcity to the natural abundant flow that you are actually born for. Or does liberation come from running even harder against our will in the wrong direction out of fear? Now everyone can make this happen for themselves regardless our current situation. You don't need to cultivate it. We don't have to be rich or try really, really hard. We don't need to change our relationship or the place where we are living. We don't need to change the way we look. And of course, we are free to do any of this, but it is not required at all. Just understanding how we can get past the root of our fear, of our pain and restlessness and our distracting addictions is enough. I created this video to give you perspective and crystal clear insight in direction towards real liberation from the root of the problem together with every other current and future symptom too. And my intention is that it will serve you this way. Do you want to know how to immediately get past the symptom of fear whenever it occurs? Or do you want to know the truth about fear and pain that will set your mind free? Well, then I have great news for you. Click here so I can send you the four free videos. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. And if you want to help me liberate even more people by making the real cause and unhealthy wrong direction visible, please share this video with your friends. Now, click on the link here and I will see you in the next video.